Hello community! After showing you in my video how to code Flyn T5, the advancement of T5, and to tune the hyperparameter of Flyn T5, I had a video on explaining to you the mother T5 and the X version of it in JAX and FLAX. But you might ask, hey, what about language models? Google already published Palm. And you might ask, what is Palm? October 2022 on the archive preprint server, uh, Google Research published scaling language modeling with pathways. This is their outlook on what they anticipate as their future architecture. They trained it on more than 6,000 TPU chips using pathway, and they trained a 540 billion parameter model on a transformer with 780 billion tokens which shows you the computer infrastructure you need. And they also use a standard transformer model architecture and a decoder-only setup with special activation, with parallel transformer blocks, with multi-query attention, with specific embeddings and sentence piece vocabulary. But all of this leads us to one question. Do we need this huge size of model for reasoning? for simple answers that we have? Can an ant solve a problem or do we need a dinosaur? And it seems like we need for the reasoning part a dinosaur, as you can see here, in two prompt examples and where the 540 billion parameter model succeeds. And you see that in the middle in red, the 62 billion parameter model comes to the wrong conclusion. So it seems we need these huge models up until now, till somebody comes up with a clever idea. So, but let's look at this conversational aspect a little bit more in detail. Remember that with ChatGPT, we had this reinforcement learning from human feedback. This was their most important contribution. And if you want to learn about this reinforcement model on hugging phase, on the GitHub Hugging Face uh, page here, there is a blog that explains in detail where they update their article on reinforcement learning. And if we now have a detailed look here at the reinforcement learning article, it is really interesting because they take it step by step. They tell you exactly about the pre-training, about gathering the data and training the reward model, and then fine-tuning the language model with the reinforcement learning. And they give you a lot of information and I'll show you how it is done. Then also the reward model training, they tell you all the details, a nice visualization, the fine tuning finally that's gonna happen, what you use, and I highly recommend this literature. And of course, this to tell you, well, the first idea of this reinforcement learning on language model was from OpenAI in 2019, where they implemented on TensorFlow. But now you have interesting uh, new implementation, like for example, from Copper AI, or they also show you what's next for reinforcement learning with human feedback. Have a look at this. What is really outstanding is some excellent literature. If you really want to learn more about it, they have some beautiful literature sources. Have a look at this documentation. So we have seen the beautiful development in reinforcement learning with human feedback and that it led to an application like chat gpt and you might ask so what's in for the future well you're not going to be surprised that we know that openai is already working on gpt4 which will have we hope an improved performance and maybe there is also some advancement in the reinforcement learning idea but if you look now at the Google side, we have Palm already. And if you combine Palm now with some reinforcement learning architecture, you would get the new Google X architecture, which might have some importance in the future. Now, clever brains like here on GitHub published already some repositories where they combined Palm with the reinforcement uh, learning approach in a PyTorch implementation. And let me show you here, just for demonstration purposes here, a GitHub repository by Lucid Reigns. 
and it is about the POM plus the reinforcement uh, learning human feedback implementation in PyTorch. You can go here, you see just yesterday was the last update. You have the algorithm, you have the data. This is great. It is an implementation of the reinforcement learning with human feedback on top of the POM architecture. I think it is currently in work because the ultra state, this repository has gone viral without my permission. So he said there is not a trained model available yet. This is just the ship and the overall map, how to do it, but they still need millions of dollars to compute and for the data preparation to sell. So anyway, just wanted to show you. Yeah, and he mentioned, of course, Copper AI, as I told you, they had been working on this reinforcement learning framework and 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 stability AI and hugging face and everybody else. But I just want to show you the more or less the simplicity of the code that you see. It is not complicated to code it. It is you just need the resources for the compute time and where you get the data from. So easy. <laughs> it's almost laughable. Pip install palm you know, reinforcement learning in PyTorch. Then you have your palm. You import POM, you set the number of tokens, the number of dimensions, the depth of your transformer architecture. Then you just generate some sequence data, just some random numbers here. You have defined a loss, and then you just have your training cycles. Beautiful. Of course, you know that you need now after the POM structure, the reward model with the curated human feedback. Let's say you have this. So what we have to do, we have some reward model that we define specific for our palm model. If you have the data and we do not have the data, so we just make up some data, we mark some data. We say, okay, we have a sequence, just some run random numbers. We have mask and we have labels that we create. You have the last, you train the model, you have a reward model. Beautiful. And then you have your palm model. You have your reward model. You have your data, your prompts here, for example. And then you have a reinforcement learning trainer that takes your POM model, that takes your reward model, that includes your prompt. And then <laughs> with this simple line of code, trainer.trained, finally you start to burn millions of dollars in compute infrastructure. Because now your model train, and if you succeed, you have a trainer where you say, okay, let's generate something. And you have finally how to compute your answers like you see, like you can experience today on chat GPT. So you see, this is the future. This is the next way to go. This is the next model here for a language model, purely a decoder stack by Google. It's called Palm Pathway Language Model. You need a reward model. You need the data from the humans if they give you feedback on the specific input data. You need a trainer that is not that easy, not that complicated to construct. And you see, this is it. You already have a prototype uh, repository in GitHub. I would say whenever you see this video, have a look about the development here or on other GitHub repositories. The code itself is not a problem. It is, you have to have the money to run this system on an infrastructure for 10,000, 100,000 epochs. And of course, and this is the most important thing, you have to have the human feedback data. You have this beautiful cleaned up data that enable you to include the reinforcement learning cycle with the human feedback and it is this human feedback that provides the quality to your model. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a very short summarization of what it's about the near future with the next Google model that has already been published two months ago in the scientific literature called POM, how to include it with current reinforcement models. And you just have to have deep financial pockets and access to some quality data. Thank you for watching and I hope I see you in my next video.